speaking to the Military of Defence because the video I'm about to show you is quite shocking. It shows four paratroopers in the British military shooting and you'll be surprised by what they're aiming at. Let's have a look. So you can see the four of them there uh, reloading what we know is not live ammunition because we've been speaking to the military of defense but clearly they say they're happy with that and look what the photograph ends on that huge picture of jeremy corbyn now speaking to the military of defense they've said we're aware this video is circulating clearly it's quite worrying uh, this is of course the leader of the opposition in the uk um, this behavior is totally unacceptable and falls well below the high standards the army expects a full investigation has been launched we've heard from the labor party as well this morning and they've said this behavior is alarming and it's unacceptable. We have confidence in the MOD to investigate and act on this incident. We know from speaking to them that this happened in Afghanistan in a, a place called Kabul, um, but some of the other details at this point are so far unclear. Let's have a look though at some of the reaction there's been from Labour MPs who are understandably angry and upset. Dan Jarvis says this is shameful utterly unacceptable. This goes against the values and standards of the British Army. I hope there will be a quick investigation. Now, we've also been uh, speaking to Gavin Williamson's office, waiting to hear back from them about their response. But Alex Sobel says this needs urgent investigation by Gavin Williams Williamson. How can serving soldiers think it's acceptable to use Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the opposition, for target practice? Now, we don't know what drill they were doing. We don't know exactly what, if it was a training exercise, if they were just messing around. Those questions left unanswered we'll get back to you on but I'll just leave you with this Paul Sweeney MP this is disgraceful it defies all the values and standards of the British Army I expect an immediate apology from the regiment and also to the Secretary of State of Defence Gavin Williamson if we hear those answers and those apologies we'll be sure to let you know